Uh, good afternoon, my dear friends, all the participants uh, who are in uh, online for this uh, speech and uh, the webinar organized excellently by uh, Shankar IAS Academy and uh, MBN University. In collaboration with uh, MBN University, uh, our uh, the famous, reputed, and talented uh, IAS Shankar Academy is uh, doing this wonderful job for the benefit of a large number of uh, IAS aspirants. I really appreciate you for this uh, initiative. Uh, Mr. Ramesh Aditya, Chandrasekhar, uh, representative from MEN University, Mr. Uh, Gaurav Saini, and others. Once again, my warm uh, welcome and uh, good afternoon to you all. See, my dear aspirants, this exam, it is, I can call one in million. So when I say one in million, don't get disappointed, don't get demotivated. When you think one in million, you should have enthusiasm, fun, and take it as a challenge to face this examination. Every year, one in will survive are six to seven lakhs. They write, finally, some 1,500 persons based on the vacancies in every year from 900 to 1,400, 1,700 people are selected. The first, the top uh, 100 will go to IAS, and the next will go for IPS, and others may prefer Indian Foreign Service, and for others, it, it is left to their choice based on various factors brought out by UP, UPSC. There are 24 services. I don't want to go on the structure of the civil service examination, the pattern of the civil service examination, which will be dealt in detail with uh, Ramesh Aditya and other uh, faculties. Uh, even Mr. Uh, uh, another Satya Krishnan, he, he is representing uh, Shankar Academy. He, he will throw light on the various aspects of the examination, the pattern, the marks, the personality test, how to score uh, marks in all these things. See, the, my main focus of this speech is to encourage you, motivate you to write the examination. UPSC Civil Service is the prestigious examination in the world, I am telling. It is the appearing for the Civil Service examination itself is a pride. So my dear aspirants, think of it first. You appear for the examination. Do not bother about the success of the examination at the first instance. Just when you fill up the DAF detailed application form, that itself, you know, gives a praise. It talks about you. The entire history, the personality of you will be in the DAF. It is a profile. You, you profile yourself. The DAF is nothing but self-profile by the concerned candidate or aspirant. So this prestigious examination is very, very important one for every person who is aspiring for this. When we were appearing for this examination, at the time, the number of aspirants were less, whereas now it is more. So that is what I told in the beginning, it is one in million. Definitely you can make it. I used to tell to succeed in the civil service examination. There is no need for rich background. There is no need for uh, scholarly education. There is no need for a higher degree. There is no need for doctorate. There is no need for fluent English. There is no need for, you know, the uh, flowery language or Shakespearean language of English. What you should have is aptitude, attitude, dedication, determination, discipline, and determination. If you have all these characteristics, definitely you can win. If you think you can win, if you think, yes, I can, definitely you can. If you think you can't, you never, you can't. So it all depends upon your attitude. What is aptitude? Aptitude is nothing but your inclination, your ability, your fitness to up for that particular uh, event, subject, or anything. So you should have attitude. Then attitude. Attitude is nothing but your mind, your uh, 
uh, your mind, how my mind is disposed towards this. See, if you analyze the examination, the recent, uh, you know, the successful candidates, it is very interesting, quite interesting. As I told earlier, there is no need for any background of, you know, your family or your parents or your peers or whatever the schools you studied, whether you are a rank holder in the uh, college or uh, in the school, it doesn't matter. It is totally irrelevant for the success of examination, examination particularly in the UPSC civil service exam. So without a basic degree is enough, even if you do distance education and get a degree, even in a correspondence, if you have a degree in from a recognized university, you are eligible. You have completed 21 years. Definitely, you can crack the examination. Knack of cracking the examination will be taught by the coaching institutions. The coaching institutions will, you know, re, it's actually a fine tuning. Why you have to prefer these coaching institutions? I recommend any coaching institution as per your choice. It is to fine tune you. For example, if you have a, a whatever the channel 93.5 is a channel, it's a frequency. If it is 93.45, there will be noise and uh, uh, some disturbance. If it is tuned to 93.5, then you will get a clear clarity and uh, clear picture and a clear voice. Like that, the coaching institutions will help you in uh, fine tuning you. So opt for some coaching institute. It is like a tuition. For example, if you want to secure top marks in any uh, competitive examination or even school in academics, you have to go for tuition. It may be stronger in physics, but always uh, tuition helps. Like that here, coaching institution helps. So my dear students, I, once again, I come for this uh, recent uh, examination result, wherein in my own state of Tamil Nadu, an actor's son is a friend of mine, uh, Jinni Jayant. His son has secured 75th rank. The first time, I think, in the history, an actor's uh, son has become a uh, uh, civil servant. He has succeeded uh, in the civil service examination. Another beauty is on uh, uh, Pradeep Singh. He is son of an uh, employee working in, working in uh, petrol pump. So he's an ordinary employee's son. So he, he could succeed. An actor's son. Another thing is one, one, one girl, Aishwarya Sharon. She has also secured a very good rank in the very first attempt. So from various and uh, multivarious uh, background, people are able to come and uh, succeed in this uh, civil service exam. So anybody can make it. There is no need to get any kind of complex. You should never have overconfidence as well as inferiority complex. Only thing is you should have confidence. And uh, many people ask a question. So how to start for this uh, civil service examination? There to begin, it is, I, I could not uh, see the direction uh, as if I am uh, left in a jungle and uh, there is where there is no compass, where no cell phone, nothing, how I can uh, find out the direction and go to my target or uh, towards my objective. Yes, definitely even if you are blindfolded and uh, left in the forest, you can come to your target, you can find the direction, provided if you use your common sense, if you have confidence, if you have the ability on yourself. If you struggle against yourself, you can succeed. It is nothing but you have to struggle against yourself. I'm telling the first the, uh, thing is how I struggled against myself. I, I got through this examination in the year 1991. In the severest competition we faced at the time, 1991, only more number of candidates appeared for the 1990 preliminary examination. So because of the confidence, I could uh, crack this examination. So you should have confidence. So the first, the students, the aspirants, if you do not uh, know how to proceed, you go to any coaching center, get the guidance. Otherwise, my simple advice is just first go through the world history. Just our outline, just read the world history. Then come to ancient India, ancient India. When we were studying at the time, I studied Romila Thapar's ancient India. Then Percival Fair, modern India. Freedom struggle by Bipin Chandra. So you have to, World history, ancient India, modern India, medieval India, freedom struggle, then uh, constitution, Indian polity, like that, uh, history, economy, then slowly you will know the knack of reading also. So the aspirants should have first the wider extensive reading. You should not go for selective reading in the beginning. So go for wide extensive reading of everything. Another important thing is reading 
of a newspaper reading a daily english daily yes it is very very important even if you do don't like english you read an english daily hindi daily or any other daily it will give lot of knowledge about the current affairs current happenings foreign affairs international affairs everything you will come to know you have to take a notebook you have to read the newspaper like a subject take a notebook you write what is new education policy nep what is uh, uh, the opinion of our honorable prime minister of india what is the policy of the government of india how opposition uh, views this how the uh, in education is to view this kind of policy so you have to analyze all these things then the recent uh, skirmish between our uh, uh, i mean army and the china and the galwan valley what is happening in uh, south china sea what is happening in iran iraq why the blast took place in uh, uh, lebanon all these things why what is ammonium nitrate what is this covid 19 how this uh, kind of diseases uh, how what is biological weapon so many things you know all related things everything will be coming from the known areas so every everybody knows but how to succeed if you are if you want to be one in million be sharp see even 10 mil 1 million everybody can make it if you don't make it in the first attempt you can definitely you can make it in the second attempt even in second attempt you, you can't make it even you can make it at the final attempt there are a lot of you know now the upsc the government has given uh, a lot of opportunity number of attempts are there more when we when we wrote the examination it was only 26 years three attempts now plenty of plenty of attempts we can make it so the sustained sustained sustenance is very important we should never give you know give up we should never give up your hope of uh, achievement always uh, you have to aim see there is no script or formula for the success in the upsc civil service examination see you can't write a script writer yes you have to write 18 hours in a day i am reading then i will make it no it is not like that see for every individual you have to make your own plan there is a common script is there yes yes common script for example a movie script means yes what is the means one uh, first half second half end of the movie there are so many things tragedy or comedy they they desire and write like that there is a framework there is a conceptual framework of uh, writing this exam yes preliminary yes i have to prepare there is no optional subject so what all what is the syllabus so according to that you start planning you prioritize you are prioritize your thing planning planning is very very important if you plan and uh, prioritize so it is the what is the subject which can be given priority according to your uh, ability according to your interest according to your knowledge you have to a lot time so time management is very very important so it is nothing great actually you know it is not a very very easy examination like uh, even a state civil state civil service examination for example in tamil nadu it is called tnpsc if you take uh, in uh, up it is called uh, uh, uttar pradesh uh, state service commission examination so the haryana haryana public service like that is those uh, state service examinations are uh, more difficult then this uh, uh, civil service examination so definitely you can uh, win this if provided i have already told the determination hard work attitude aptitude discipline dedication yeah discipline yes yeah, somebody will be asking a question sir um, see i am not at all seeing any social media i am not using cell phone despite that uh, i am not able to succeed in the examination there is my friend uh, you know he was uh, always seeing a movie he was always using social media whatsapp uh, twitter instagram this and that and he could make it yeah as i told already see every individual see like it is a gene like a fingerprint everybody is different so according to your ability you should uh, choose and you should make your own plan of uh, uh, studying since even 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 the hindi exam in hindi medium you can write there is no need to write in english most of the students of the participants are from i think hindi speaking state you can opt for uh, hindi you can give interview in hindi there is no problem absolutely uh, don't bother about uh, the language uh, see in simple language simple words you should express that sort the upsc doesn't want very complicated uh, you know language you are not going to serve the british you are not going to london to serve you are going to serve the poor people of our nation remember 
we are dealing with common commoners the global public so you have to know their language you have to know their feelings you have to empathize you have to sympathize with them that is then only your personality you know just also your personality will reflect your attitude and attitude it is not like you know it's a posh where you can sit in always in uh, air conditioned uh, rooms and uh, the only armchair policies you can make no it is a practically field oriented service the best service in the world in india it is the best government service also uh, ias ips or whatever when custom central excise uh, irs income um, uh, income tax all you know indian revenue service indian audit and account service and uh, all these service different account service civil account service so many services this very interesting so you aim for high you aim for uh, indian administrative service then you may, you may get even if you do not get in the first order you will get some other service then while joining or getting uh, extension you can prepare again again and you find you you struggle yourself definitely then you can make this uh, you can crack this examination so knack of cracking the examination will come out of experience whatever we tell whatever we, we tune you ultimately you should get tuned it is in your hand uh, my dear uh, aspirants uh, almost 200 uh, uh, aspirants are uh, in online and definitely you will be getting uh, good ideas from the various faculty and experts who are going to give uh, very good uh, points of uh, to ponder and points to you know analyze and devise strategy of your own so anyway my dear students you ultimately the success lies in your hand and when we were studying we were uh, facing shortage of materials there was no google there was no internet nothing there was no whatsapp of course there was one advantage we when we never get uh, diverted we paid undivided attention to uh, on our subject now a lot of uh, diversions and lot of materials available lot of uh, you know n number of coaching uh, institutions uh, if you browse uh, google then you can get plenty of uh, study materials when you are flooded with study materials you will get confused don't prepare with so so much of study materials just have a selective study materials either prepared by you or given by the coaching institutions like shankar ias academy uh this is enough to get through this examination so it is uh, not a great you know kamale uh, kamalian task any even everest can be climbed uh, ordinarily why don't you crack this examination provided your grit will determination killer instinct that yes my target is this one i have to achieve this target i have to uh, my uh, objective goal you set the goal and uh, gradually you go towards your goal definitely you will realize your achieve realize your objective and you can hit the target you can hit the bulls eye the bulls eye is your choice that is ias or ips or indian foreign service whatever your choice that is the bulls eye so one in million definitely you can make uh, my dear aspirants one in million is uh, not a very you know that uh, uh, gigantic or monumental uh, uh, proportion or figure you can make it always um, yes mr ramesh aditya whether uh, any questions i can answer now <coughs> sir uh, yes yes sir you can uh, definitely sir first question is like uh, there is a student uh, he asked about what are all the efforts you have taken to become an ips officer in short uh, the student wants to know how you prepared for the examination sir so my experience you know just uh, i i i spent 3 3 months for preliminary examination i was working in bank as officer in delhi when i uh, started preparing for this examination i was in delhi and uh, preliminary examination i never went to any coaching institution at the time very very limited coaching institutions were there in delhi only three institutions in the year 1990 but uh, three months i applied leave then i cracked the examination my option subject was indian history then when the main result came i again applied just two months uh, leave that's all in two months i prepared very hard and uh, 18 hours a day i was uh, studying no no movies no so social media at the time no social social media 18 hours even when i go to bathroom at the time i was thinking about something and we used to record at the time walkman will be there 
I don't know whether you may be knowing Walkman. At the time, we will record it and put it on Walkman in the toilet. Also, we listen to that map, the Indian map, where it is, where is Varanasi, where is Kasi, where all these things, you know, history option, main option also. So at the time, map was in only 60 marks question. The pattern was different. So my mantra was I was working hard, dedication and determination. That is a mantra of my success. Uh, sir, uh, there is another question from a student called Kritika Yadav. How to motivate oneself and uh, motivating uh, oneself towards this achievement of the goal is the biggest problem. How do we uh, persistently motivate ourselves? Yeah, you have to motivate ourselves. You have to, you know, self-motivating. That is, uh, you know, that is actually, uh, uh, you have to think confidence. Uh, so you should be an uh, optimist, uh, positive uh, oriented, not COVID positive. You should have a positive attitude of mind. Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can do. See, for this, there is a personality test means there is no, you need not be very, you know, handsome, fair, tall, this is an thin. No, it is not like that anybody can become. So you should have confidence on yourself first. That is self-motivating is nothing. Yes, I can do. If you study and if you don't, if you forget, don't bother. You again, again, you know, practice. Practice makes a man or you know, woman perfect. Uh, you keep on practicing it, recalling, you know, that is uh, read, recall, read, recall, read, recall. Then you can remember the things. So that is, you know, self-motivation. You keep on writing whatever you have just read then after three four days you write uh, whatever you know just you, yourself uh, can come with a question and uh, you write your answer you can motivate yourself definitely at, in no point of time you should not lose your confidence yes you can achieve in this nothing in uh, can, I mean, cannot be anything can be achieved in this world i'm telling uh, provided you have the killer instinct sir kindly uh, tell us about the physical test and uh... Uh, uh, getting into an IPS, uh, how it is like uh, the kind of uh, physical uh, eligibility as such? See, there is no physical uh, fitness is needed for, uh, you know, that uh, there is a very basic thing is like, you know, chest, all these things, some height is for uh, 165 centimeter and uh, others they have some uh, relaxation. Uh, normally it is 165 centimeter height and uh, uh, there is, you know, once if you go to uh, the training institution, then IPS you will get in NPA, National Police Academy, when you, from starting from drill, weapon training, all these things will be taught, unarmed combat. It will be quite interesting. You know, also theory, indoor and outdoor. Two, two classes are divided indoor and outdoor. So there is nothing special about, uh, you know, special uh, physical quality. You, know. you have bare minimum standards are there that should be fulfilled. For girls, I think it is uh, 155 centimeter, I think, for height for women. Uh, okay, sir, and uh, there are some repeated questions about uh, the eligibility criteria and other, uh, I mean, there is one interesting question, sir, the student is asking about how to become an officer in CBI. Yeah, CBI, see, there are CBI, there is uh, recruitment up to DSP, inspector, sub-inspector and DSP, so there is a direct recruitment to CBI, that is nothing to do with civil service exam, UPSC, this is uh, a civil service examination. Uh, for once if you become an IAS officer or even IRS officer, even customs, they go on deputation. Normally the CBI, only you know, more, more number of IPS officers will be there in any uh, CPO, central police organizations, particularly CBI, uh, Directorate of Enforcement, uh, NIA, National Investigation Agency. So you can go on deputation. For example, if you start as EISP or after getting IPS, you can work for four years in the particular state allotted to you. Then after that, you can go to uh, any agencies on deputation. Then you can become a, that is called hardcore CBA or intelligence bureau. You can go for deputation for five, five years deputation. Then you have to come to state for a cooling period of three years. Then again, you can go back to the uh, same, uh, organization like CBA and then you can become a hard code there. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. If you want to start with the, uh, you know, CBA, then you can write that uh, CBA officers examination that is uh, conducted separately. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So there's another question about the fitness again. Uh, this student is asking about Sony Verma is asking about a person having diabetes type one can think of becoming a civil servant. Is there any uh, criteria in that? 
definitely if even if you have type 1 or type 2 type 1 is nothing but it is insulin dependent it is a uh, you know that is a hereditary inherent actually uh, right from day 1 of birth uh, you become uh, diabetic that is called type 1 you are definitely you are eligible you are you know even that uh, I mean, uh, physical inability is also a no bar for uh, ias exam or even even if you are uh, visually challenged also you can uh, write there are so many officers who are uh, visually challenged they can't see totally they are uh, they are a cps officer they have a separate uh, quota also there is no problem absolutely you are don't think about your this uh, physical the, these things unless you are involved in a criminal case and convicted there is no bar you should be a human being that's all be a man or woman or even a transgender or um, no problem okay sir and uh, sir there is a question about uh, what kind of difficulties you faced before becoming an ips officer and after becoming an ips officer and how did you face it and how did you overcome these uh, difficulties see the difficulties there are there is no, actually there are no difficulties i take all the difficulties as challenges it is like a battlefield you know just going going to a war see it is not a difficulty it is a challenge you have to win the challenge see definitely when uh, before joining service you are on your own nobody noticed you that means nobody noticed me nobody will notice you once you become a civil servant whether an ias ips officer or any other civil servant the people will start noticing you then you have to be perfect in your dealings and perfect in your personal life official life you are very very you should be transparent and everybody will watch you definitely i can tell that you will lose your personal freedom when you are uh, uh, when you are a civil servant so you have more responsibility you become more responsible person so i have a lot of difficulties in you know handling so many situations law and order but everything uh, you know i thought uh, it's an interesting challenge and uh, overcome the challenges it was never a difficulty for me uh, it was an interesting one so you can enjoy really whatever the you know whether it is facing terrorists or even facing criminals or uh, investigating a very serious crimes or uh, convicting them and uh, you know putting them uh, on trial before the court and getting conviction life imprisonment so many things it is very interesting you can instantaneously help the people that is a very interesting one next for example if you become an ias officer any problem of you know getting a cost certificate or any patta issue all these things immediately you can deliver justice that is the beauty of civil service so definitely uh, you will experience yourself then you become then you will uh, love it and like it great sir chandru sir <clears throat> yes sir yes sir yes sir so sir is uh, uh, answering the question so uh, since you are also there you can ask questions sir. to sir yes sir definitely sir sir uh, uh, can you share uh, any strategy for college students how to balance both uh, college studies as well as uh, civil service preparation and how to start yeah the college students see the many of the students are asking one question uh, common question sir whether i can go and start the uh, start preparation when they join degree itself see there is no need to you know uh, join specially for uh, the civil service examination when you start your degree see you have to read newspaper all the students the basic thing is first read one english daily every day develop your general knowledge that is very important then uh, choose your uh, you know uh, op subject optional subject only one optional subject is there that you can uh, discuss with your uh, uh, seniors or the persons who already succeeded or the nearby coaching institutions there you can discuss what kind of subject i can opt for uh, the main examination for example if you study bcom then commerce is there if you study your degree course very well in depth then the optional the problem of the question of choosing option is uh, no more there so definitely whatever you study in the degree you study perfectly you study in depth then after completing the degree or one year before completing the degree you start uh, browsing all the syllabus of uh, various subjects the uh, general studies ethics essays all these things and uh, you keep your uh, eyes and ears open 
for all the current happenings uh, that is in terms of uh, polity economy and uh, whatever the social uh, issues and so many things that's all you have to be aware of your surroundings aware of yourself and uh, equip yourselves with the general knowledge sir uh, next question is uh, in all india service let's say for example i am from uh, haryana and if i posted in karnataka or kerala tamil nadu in southern states in non hindi belt and all uh, should i learn uh, the respective states language and uh, uh, should i write any exam for that in government yeah yeah definitely you are supposed to pass the concerned state language uh, exam for example in tamil nadu if you come to tamil nadu you have to pass the tamil exam it is a very very simple exam if you go to karnataka you have to pass the kannada it is like you know very very simple just if you prepare for uh, one or two months you know every day one hour one or two hours if you concentrate within three months you will be able to pass so far nobody has been disqualified that they have not passed and everybody has passed so far in the history of civil service no person failed there is no don't bother about the, this language state language there is uh, no it is not an impediment you only concentrate on your civil service examination how to get through this civil service examination don't bother about uh, the post uh, you know uh, civil service examination uh, this one so how to which state and what will happen this and that nothing you have to crack the civil service another thing is even the writing the civil service examination itself is an experience it's a pleasure it will give it will teach you a lot of things even if you do not make the examination despite several attempts even if you give 10 attempts and even if you fail 10 attempts definitely it will help you to be successful in your life i am telling and how to rear your children rear your family in future will be very very useful so it will give enormous uh, you know the exposure the mental distress will widen uh, it gives confidence even if you fail in the examination and if you cannot make uh, into any of the services it will give confidence and you will be successful if you start any business after the uh, um, applying or after writing this uh, examination sir uh, next one is another question uh, sir before examination uh, how many months we have to prepare for preliminary and mains yeah for preliminary examination see for it is uh, all this in the csat these you know the aptitude test these are all for engineering mathematical backgrounds uh it is very easy uh for others i in my personal opinion from the experience of so many successful candidates it is only 3 months uh, enough 3 months period is enough for uh, preliminary examination but before that you should have been reading it or studying not over, without knowing anything and just 3 months uh, will be insufficient you should have been preparing it already just reading uh, why the extensive study all these things then intensive study 3 months for clean examination then you can crack it yes sir the next question is on candidate uh, darshini she is asking uh, she is doing it all the standard now she is interested in uh, civil service so what type of course in college will help her to achieve this dream see I, I, as i told there is no you know special uh, script or uh, framework or special subject wherein uh, you can be successful it is not like that any subject of your interest for example if you are interested in commerce you prefer if you are interested in econ- economics you prefer uh, economics if you are interested in uh, social work or social service sociology you prefer or mathematics anything it is not like that it is uh, no specific subject or particular subject will uh, give you good marks it is not like that you know this generally there is a wrong perception that oh this last year uh, geography you know got a lot of marks so the previous year uh, psychology has got a lot of uh, you know um, marks so i have to go for only psychology geography or uh, political science it is not like that the subject of our interest even you can opt for uh, Uh, Kannada language, Tamil language, Hindi language, Sanskrit language, anything you can opt for as uh, one of the optional subjects. Uh, so your confidence only in the, the subject uh, you are studying in degree uh, is totally irrelevant and doesn't make any difference. The next question is interesting. So, sir, please share your uh, training experience in National Police Academy. Oh, 
that is very fantastic and training experience uh, see when i was, uh, so it is a very interesting you know we we were there 87 percent ips officers in the year 1991 so it is like you know it is a, uh, like a totally like college it is an experience of a college like studying a degree see our training is almost you know two years in two years training six months you'll be have going for field training to the respective uh, states of uh, allotment so the one and a half years of uh, institutional training is quite interesting uh, so see the if you, if you start the monday monday five o'clock we have to wake up we don't know when how the you know day passes see at the saturday afternoon saturday classes will be over by 1 30 after lunch we'll be going to hyderabad the bus will be ready we'll go to hyderabad uh, then we'll see movies uh, then we'll come back and we'll have mogul biryani there so it is quite interesting like a college student you, you will never feel like a bureaucrat at the time of training whether it's an ias or ips but for a near police service my training was very quite interesting i like to recall uh, uh, mr um, uh, ramakrishnan uh, ips uh, retired now is a very very decorated officer in uh, west bengal west bengal he is from uh, kerala native of kerala but uh, served in west bengal he was my deputy director director of basic uh, courses bc ddbc uh, so he he was uh, no in in my batch you won't believe that you can ask my batch mates or so in several states i am the tough man of my batch my deputy director mr ramakrishnan ips he used to call me a super cop at the time so with a lot of enthusiasm and i used to participate in all the field training and the running uh, you know every saturday morning cross country race of 15 kilometers i used to come first then obstacle courses uh, rock climbing it is like you know we will be beaming with energy and enthusiasm uh, weapon training uh, unarmed combat karate basketball uh, volleyball uh, rope climbing so many events those who are interested in uh, athletics or uh, uh, physical activities it is uh, really a great service uh, indian police service so the training days are really you know after college days the training days are only the you know indelible and immemorable days in my career and life that i whenever i think of training days i i am longing for those day, days again if time machine is there i will go back there as a trainer again training sir uh... Next and all very general questions, sir. Like that. Uh... Yeah, tell me what the, what is some general questions so that we can tell. Yes, sir, yeah. what are the challenges you faced during your preparation? Yeah, my, uh, my see when I was preparing, I used to prepare. Then after a week, then I will forget. Uh, mind will become no uh, blank. Uh, brain fogging will be there. Oh, how how to how to read? how to recall like that you know i used to suffer kind of you know sometimes you get depression you become low you know some sometime at the time you know i i used to encourage myself motivate myself oh nothing nothing we can make it definitely we can make it then quietly meditate for 10 minutes then uh, close your eyes after watch your breath then it will be all right and uh, i used to do you know whenever i feel low i used to go for walk or jog the best antidote for your depression or your demotivation is exercise if you run or uh, you know, walk or if you talk to your friends you will get motivated so never ever feel low for uh, this i faced uh, you know many kind of you know that uh, demotivated then again i struggle against myself i uh, sometimes i could not wake up in the morning then uh, somehow with all the difficulties i used to wake up at five o'clock then start reading i if i would feel sleepy then somehow managed and read with the uh, grit will determination and the killer instinct so the next one is uh, how do you feel to be an ips officer and what are the changes that happened in your life after getting into this yeah the definitely you no know, after becoming an ips officer you feel no proud and uh, definitely your self esteem will improve not ego i am telling self esteem there is an image about yourself is self esteem that will definitely improve it gives a lot of confidence you are commanding you know a lot of like army you commanding so many uh, personnel under your control for example your district esp will control almost 
1500 police personnel so he is not only a you know a law enforcement officer but an administrator also he is a leader of the police force so as a leader i could make a lot of uh, improvements i can make a lot of impact on the lives of my subordinates uh, i can uh, I, have, i have addressed a lot of welfare measures for the policemen their family members so we will take uh, the entire force like a family and uh, at the same time there is no place for uh, misplaced sympathy if somebody uh, is indis- indisciplined and somebody commits mistake we will take strong action at the same time we have sympathy we have uh, uh, we, we were interested in uh, their welfare measures uh, so really as an ips officer your life attitude everything will be changed for the better not for the worse it will change for the better yes sir so almost we have answered almost all the questions sir uh, so thank you thank you so much sir yeah. oh thank you very much once again all the aspirants yes, just uh, do well prepare well with confidence here this, when a model has become an ias officer an actor son has become an ias officer and um, control bank employee son has become an ias officer why don't we become yes definitely you can become it is an attractive service and uh, very um, no it's a meritorious nobody can influence is any this exam is no recommendation nothing will work out only your merit so wish you all the best and join some coaching institution uh, so that you can be you know fine tuned even a one mark makes you know ranks of 50 ranks one mark if you lose one mark you lose 50 100 ranks also so you should be very very careful all the best thank you very much thank you uh, shankar ayes academy Ch- chandru ramesh and the mbn university bye thank you thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you thank you sir